Hey, my name is Nick McLean. We had some te te technical difficulties on take a second ago, so we're starting completely over again. That being said, this is the NM Music Channel, where we talk about anything and everything related to the modern musician. Nick McLean, once again. Today, we are doing a new function, a new segment, a new iteration on the jazz lesson series, which is at every day at 3.30 p.m. At 3.30 p.m., we meet here on our YouTube Live account. Um, yeah, we're just uh, looking at some jazz and making sure we can uh, play some jazz. Today is our new episode, our new segment called Scale Jail. As you can tell from the link you probably clicked, Scale Jail is a pretty obvious thing that we're doing today. I guess we're, we're going to be learning a scale. We're going to be learning the chromatic scale. And to learn that chromatic scale today, we're going to be jumping in. So grab your horn and we've restarted. We're, we're ready to go. We've silenced the phones. We've turned off everything. It should not crash on us anymore. If it does, my computer doesn't want to see how angry I get at it. All right. So jumping over here, we got to set ourselves up a little uh, visual thing so we can see some fingerings to see some notes, I guess. Grab your horn. We're going to play that chromatic scale. And first of all, we got to get rid of some music here. That way we can play, right? Um, with the combination of some uh, metronome work and some backing tracks, we're going to have some fun with this chromatic scale. First of all, let's do the crank the metronome challenge to learn and play the scale. Actually, yeah, I think that'd be a great one. Crank the metronome. That's a pretty easy game that I like to do with my students. We start at a ridiculously slow level to learn this one note at a time. Then we go ahead and we play it. Uh, by cranking the metronome up by five beats each until we're pretty much maxed out. Okay, let's do it. Got to get my trumpet mic. Have you guys seen my trumpet, by the way? I don't know where it's at. Got to find it. It tends to, to wander off during the day and then make it back home at night. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're in it now. All right, so we just need a, uh, we just need ourselves a, a little metronome here, right? M E T R O N O M E. <laughs> That's how you spell metronome. Let's start at sixty or eighty. How about eighty? Let's see what eighty sounds like. Does it sound like a good starting tempo today? Yeah. All right, concert B flat. First note of the scale. One, two. All right, concert B flat. Concert B. One, two, three. All right, give that a try in a second. One, two, three. All right, concert B. Concert B flat. <laughs> concert B flat, concert B, and then concert C. One, two, one, two, three. Add the fourth note in there. One, two, three. Today is a difficult day. Everything's moving around. One, two, again. All right, add the fifth note in there. Another half step up. One, two, three. All right, the sixth note. One, two. the next note. One, two, three. One, two, three. Add the next note. One, two, Almost 
almost done. Let's add another note. One, two, three. <laughs> Yeah, one, two, again. Is that another note? Two, ready. Yeah, two, again. Another note. One, two, ready. Only two more notes. So let's add them. It's the concert A and concert B flat. So I guess it's just one note and then the octave. One, two, ready. So we took a, a hot second. Actually, we need to repeat that a couple times. One. There it is. Ready. Go. Repeat. Two. Ready. Got it, we got it, we got it. All right, let's take a second to talk about what we just did. You know, we're in scale jail, which means we're thinking about theory, we're thinking about scales, we're thinking about learning scales efficiently. I want you to be able to walk away today being able to play that chromatic scale ascending. Ascending means when you're going upwards in the scale, upwards in the scale. So we're ex uh, ac accelerating, you know, we're ascending, we're going upwards in the scale from concert B flat to concert B flat, right? Cool. So we've learned the scale. If you haven't, if you're still having some difficulties with it, hit pause, practice it. We're still going to be here when you get back, hopefully. And uh, as you're learning that scale, um, keeping that in mind, doing a couple of repetitions. I like to go and did I did one note at a time. I call that the stop sign game. I put the stop sign game right after the first note, then after the second note, after the third note. If I had any problems getting up to the third note, did not move that stop sign to the fourth note. I kept it there. So, you know, try that out, see how that works for you, and see uh, w what you, you know, let me know if, if that helps you learn a scale or this scale. All right, the next game I like to do is uh, the one we, w maybe, was it the first stream that we were talking about this song or this one? I don't know. Either way, we're going to do Crank the Metronome. Crank the Metronome is my game that I play. We start at 80, like we just did. We're going to play it up, ascending. And we're going to stop at C again, uh, concert B flat, my C. And once we've done that, and then we're going to play to 85, then 90, then 95, then 100. Yeah, yeah. You get it. Up by fives. Let's see. The crank the metronome challenge. All right. Let's see if I can get a better angle here. I don't like this angle. If you guys think I need a better angle, let me know. If you guys are joining in and playing along on the right in the chat, let me know. I'd love to... See what you guys are doing there. Here we go. I think uh, I like this angle better. Do I like this angle better? Let's see what we can do with this. Yeah, look at that. Now you can see the trumpet and everything. All right. We got our chromatic scale back on, and we're about to do our crank the metronome challenge here. So grab your horn. We're playing the concert B-flat chromatic scale up, ascending, and we're playing at 80, 85, 90, 95, and so on. Here we go. Metronome two. Ready. <laughs> All right. You know, it's still bugging me. One second, guys.
This should be a lot better. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. And headphones. Two, three, four. Ah, we're gonna go up to 85. Here we go. Two, ready? <laughs> going from 85 to 90 hang out with me play this scale two three four one two ready all right going up to 95 challenging 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 stuff one two up to uh, 100. One, two, ready? Get to one fifteen. Two, one, two, ready. And one twenty. Two, one, two, ready. Again, if you guys are in the chat, let me know. Is this working for you? Are you able to keep up so far? I hope so. You know, if you're a newbie, maybe you, you need to take a break here and go back and do it again. Because you can hit pause, rewind, and then and watch it again, right? It's not too bad. So one of the things I really like to, to think about, you know, we we're playing quarter notes at 120 right there. Um, if you cut that in half... 60, 60 beats per minute, and you played eighth notes, that means there's going to be two, uh, two notes or two, um, two, uh, two notes per beat, right? Um, we're going to be able to play the same exact tempo just hearing one click instead of, uh, yeah, one click per two notes instead of one click per one note. Makes it a little bit cleaner and uh, uh, it allows us to accelerate the tempo a little bit more. So let's drop the tempo to 60, but we're going to play eighth notes instead. It should sound exactly the same as what we just did. Here we go. And three and go. Let me know if you can make it through this part of the, the, the crank the metronome. Naturally, we got 65. Two, ready, and... Let's get up to 70. One, two, ready, and. Yeah. One, two, ready, mm -hmm. Ready? 
the last part of this goes kind of quick. One, two, ready? <laughs> Right, ninety. One, two, ready. Ninety-five. Two, ready. One hundred. Two, ready. One oh five, two, one, two, ready. All right. Only three more for today. Two, one, two, ready. Last round. Two. One, two, ready. So, yeah. Today we use the chromatic scale and we use the uh, two games. We use the stop sign game and we use the crank the metronome game. I guess they're really not called games, they're really practice routines or practice methods or practice strategies. I like that word, strategies. How do you learn? Right? I like to learn slowly. I like to learn um, uh, by building one block up to the next. So it, with the first game is what I call it, especially with younger people, um, the stop sign game. Play one note, then play two notes, play three notes. It's an easy way to take something that's really hard. I don't know, maybe the, maybe the chromatic scale is not hard for you. But it's an easy way to take something that's harder and make it easier. So if the chromatic scale was hard for you, then slow it down or play the stop sign game or play crank the metronome. The second game we played was crank the metronome, where we took a slow tempo, we started at 80, and went up by fives. When we hit 120, we divided it in two and also divided the rhythm as well. So we were playing quarter notes, we went down to eighth notes to keep that same rhythm going. Okay, that being said, we have done our scale jail of the day. We are at our limit on our time for that. We don't want to go and use too much time for that. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. I can play a chromatic scale all day. So let me put that down out of the way. And I uh, just wanted you, to, you guys to think about that. The, the methods we're using can be used on any single thing that you're practicing. Other scales, other routines, other, other uh, what was the word I was looking for? Other subjects. Even in, in chrom like um, that stop sign game, I can use that to learn vocabulary or learn uh, multiplication tables or anything that requires route memorization. Um, yeah, make it easy for yourselves and be able to, to add one block to the next to create something bigger. So uh, if you guys are watching and listening, uh, this is level one. I only did it ascending, right? But we can definitely do it descending too where we take that chromatic scale, start at the top and go back down. We can also do it ascending and descending, right? So I hope that kind of helps give you some ideas. It's a play along video. So if you missed any of it, it's going to be published here or posted here, I guess, in a couple of minutes. Um, once I hit the end button, it'll be saved and you can go back and you can um, watch through and play along with me practicing that that uh, awesome scale. But it is an essential part, you know, when you're starting to learn these scales. That's why it's the first episode of Scale Jail that I'm doing the chromatic scale. So. Um, I hope that you become a master of the chromatic scale really soon. Play that uh, uh, that routine on a daily basis, right? Um, work that up. You don't have to stop at 120. We stopped at 120 just for the sake of time, but you don't. You can keep going. Go to 160. Go to 200. I guarantee you can make it there as long as you're going five beats at a time. Sometimes I even go one beat at a time. But yeah. Anyways, if you guys have any questions about the chromatic scale or how it works, um, hit me up in the chat on the right or down in the comments below if you're watching this later. Um, if you are one of my private students, you guys should know about this video because it is one of the assignments I'll be giving you. Come watch this live video. It's actually live now, but hey, in the past, I guess, or in the future. Hey, in the future. Um, come watch this video and see if you can play along and 
I don't know, learn a little bit about the chromatic scale and master it for, for your next lesson. Speaking of lessons, we do um, live lessons here every single Monday. We do our Q&A here on Jazz Q&A every single Tuesday. On Wednesdays, we're doing Scale Jail, and I have no idea what we're doing tomorrow on Thursday or Friday. i got to figure that out yet. Um, but there are three planned segments every week on, on, what is this, the second week in a row that this is working. So, uh, but yeah, thank you guys for subscribing and liking so far. You guys are you're helping me out, helping me um, teach more people about music. So hopefully some of this is helping you out. Um, you can check out our website, www.nm-music.org. If you're interested in private lessons, hit me up. I do the first private lesson for everybody free. It's absolutely free. It's $60 per lesson after that. Um, there's no sign-up fee. All you have to do is, is contact me be like, hey, Nick, I need a lesson. Um, we've never taken a lesson before. Can I have a free lesson? I'll be like, yes, of course you can have a free lesson. Come in here and do a free lesson. And we're going to be talking about most of these same concepts. You can prepare something, or I can give you some advice of what to prepare for our next lesson. Um, we do lessons either in home if you're here in the local area in, in DFW, but if you're not, there are other two other options. One, I do uh, online lessons besides the live lessons. This is one on one, camera style, camera style, right? Um, where y you're on the you're on the video screen, I'm on the video screen. We're both talking and 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 practicing and learning together, just us. The last or the other t option would be. Or would that be the last option? Yeah, the last option. Uh, I do. I hook people up with teachers all over the nation. So if you guys are in in the middle of nowhere in in, in Pennsylvania, hit me up. I will find your teacher. I will make sure they know what they're talking about before you start. And this is all a free service. And uh, you sign up for the the lessons on my account. And yeah, on my webpage. And yeah, you start lessons however they want to do it. Um, but I find your teacher for you and make sure everything is going well and handle all the payment and you guys got it from there. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I've enjoyed playing the chromatic scale as much as I can with you guys here online today. Um, let's let's make it more interesting. Next week, what scale do you want to learn? It doesn't have to be any certain scale or any certain order. Um, if not, then I'm going to pick a logical next one. But if there's a certain scale you want to shed with me or get some ideas on how to shed it, let me know. Um, yeah. See ya.